Shocking statistic, more than 6 million Americans are living with some type of heart failure, and many can be treated with medication. But there are thousands of patients who can't survive without advanced treatment. One of those options is a mechanical pump that assists the heart. So heart failure is a condition where a person's heart is not able to pump enough blood to the rest of their body on its own. A heart transplant is an option for some patients, but not all. It is a limited resource, meaning there are not enough hearts to support the number of patients waiting for a heart transplant. There are also situations where heart transplantation is not an option for patients. Um, such as those of advanced age or with a smoking history. In those cases, patients may benefit from a ventricular assist device, or VAD for short. A ventricular assist device is a mechanical heart pump that is implanted surgically through open heart surgery, and it helps pump blood to the rest of a person's body when their heart cannot do it well enough on its own. Sarah Comstock is the VAD program manager at University of Michigan Health. She says over the years, the devices have gotten smaller, lighter, and most importantly, safer. One of the major goals of VAD therapy is to increase patients' quality of life. Many patients with advanced heart failure are readmitted to the hospital frequently, or they have severe symptoms that really affect their quality of life. After receiving a VAD, many patients are able to return home to their families, to their work, and to other recreational activities such as exercise. Comstock says some patients can now survive with the same VAD for more than 10 years with a lower risk for complications like stroke or blood clots. We want referring providers to know that they can send patients to us early on to be evaluated to possibly receive this life-saving treatment. And VADs can also be used as a bridge to receiving a heart transplant. Currently, there's only one heart pump on the market offered for short and long-term treatment of heart failure. But a national clinical trial is underway at U of M to evaluate the effectiveness of a new device.